Hello guys, welcome to my new video. In this video I will talk about our beloved and cutest actor, Bebo. This blue god is also known as the god of war, and has multiple appearances across Arrowverse shows, including Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, The Flash, and Arrow. Cuddle Me Bebo was a toy created in 1992, and was in hot demand in stores around the United States of America. Martin Stein was shopping at Toys Are We in Central City when the store ran out of Bebo toys, aside from one still remaining on the top shelf. Stein used a toy bow and arrow to knock a model spaceship into the Bebo doll and right into his hands, and proceeded to run away from a mob of angry customers. A wormhole opened to the year 1000, leaving Stein captured in Vinland by Vikings with the Bebo doll, which had become an anachronism. The Vikings believed Bebo to be a god and Freydis Eric's daughter used the doll's words to rally the Vikings behind her and conquer the entirety of North America. The legends traveled to 1000 and infiltrated the Vikings as a fellow tribe, but Mick Rory was found stealing from their god and sentenced to be burned alive. Leo Snart put out their flames, which the Vikings saw as a miracle, and momentarily convinced by Ava Sharp that Bebo had spared Mick's life. However, Vixen was caught stealing Bebo. A battle ensued, ending with Mick burning the doll and the Vikings seeing Bebo as a false god. The anachronism shifted when Damien Dark arrived on the scene in the form of Odin. The Adam would use another Bebo doll to restore the Vikings' faith in Jesus Christ by comparing Bebo's resurrection to Jesus, and fixed the anachronism for good. It was also overtaken by Prank and the Trickster. In 2018, Axel Walker, the second trickster, and his mother, sidekick, Zoe Clark Prank used Bebo as a test subject to show off the effects of the powerful acid that Axel had concocted and dubbed Axid in a live broadcast from their toy factory to Central City, with Bebo managing to state his acquisition of an owie before he was obliterated. Later, when Vibe and Killer Frost went to rescue hostages from the toy factory, three flying Bebos suddenly appeared in their way but were frozen solid by Killer Frost and shattered against the ground. Let's talk about the spells of Constantine. During his adventures with the legends, John Constantine noticed that a Time Bureau agent Gary Green had socks with Bebo pictured, which Gary explained were gifted to him by his aunt Stacy. John offered to tell a story about how once, when he was, on a massive vendor, he cast a spell on a Bebo toy to make it talk. According to John, Bebo told him, things that'll make your toes curl, now let's look at the famous Bebo vs Malice, after the newly freed demon Malice cornered the legends in 19th century's salvation, they were assaulted by the forces from different periods of history and aided by reinforcements from the allies they befriended along the way. While the battle raged around them, the legends wielded the totems of Zombesi to create a unified avatar of their power. Because Nate Haywood concentrated on Bebo when thinking of something pure, the new totem bearers transform into a supersized version of Bebo to defeat Malice. In this form, cheered by their allies, the legends destroyed the Time Demon once and for all. It was also sighted at the National City Fair. Otis Graves and his sister, Mercy bump into a kid. However Otis put further insult to injury by squashing the Bebo the kid earned at the fair. When the kid is aggravated about this, Otis considers it a metaphor for life, and his sister convinces Otis to continue walking. And another appearance in Arrow, during Zoe's recovery. After Renee's daughter, Zoe was injured in a fire, Curtis brought a Bebo doll to her in the hospital, against Renee's objections that Zoe was too old for it, now let's talk about the powers this toy has. First is flight. Ray Palmer used his Adam suit to give Bebo the appearance of a flying holy entity. The version created by Totems of Zombesi was capable of flight on its own. Modified Bebos used by the Trickster family were also capable of propelled flight. Another is resurrection. Ray Palmer used his Adam suit and a new Bebo to make the Vikings think that Bebo was resurrected. It also has superhuman strength. The Bebo created by the legends had the strength to lift malice and also has superhuman durability. The Bebo created by the legends could withstand many attacks from the demon Malice during their battle. Finally, invulnerability bypassing. The Bebo created by the legends wielded the power of all totems of Zombesi, the only thing capable of either banishing or killing Malice. The Bebo's most notable ability is facial expression imitation. As a robotic toy, Bebo was able to imitate speech and limited facial expressions such as mouth flaps and winks. The toy was able to really achieve speech when affected by Constantine's magic. It was able to do so again when brought to life by the legends. Bebo also has some weaknesses. The first is fire. 
Bebo is flammable, as he was incinerated by heat waves gun. The second is acid. A special acid known as Axid was invented by Axel Walker and his mother, Zoe Clark. They used this on a Bebo in order to show how powerful this acid was, and it immediately melted Bebo away. And the third weakness is ice. Killer Frost shot icy beams at three flying Bebos, causing them to freeze and subsequently shatter quickly. That's all for now. Hope you liked my cover-up of Bebo. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.